In the last video, we looked at how Access Control Engine, or ACE, provides an additional layer of security for external users. Let's look at some of these examples where ACE can be considered for implementation. In the first example, this organization has sales representatives. The sales reps are assigned to different territories. These sales reps are also reporting to territory managers. This is indicated in the diagram. Suppose we have different requirements for access for security of for territory managers and sales representatives. As an example, territory managers can display all the customers regardless of territory assignments. Sales representatives can, however, create and display or change customers that belong to the only territories that they are assigned to. Similarly, Territory managers can display all the opportunity documents for their territory. Sales representatives can create and display and change opportunity documents that belong to the only territory that they are assigned to. In the next example, we have partner organizations or business partners. These business partners have a different contact persons associated with each organization. Let us say that the contact persons create orders in the system. The requirement could be that all the contact persons of the partner organizations of the business partners can display and change the orders regardless of which contact person has created the order. Contact persons from the organization or business partner must not be able to display, edit any orders that belong to a different business partner. These two examples show that the requirements could be different for different users. These users happen to be external organization users who are not employees, and then securing sensitive information while at the same time providing access to the relevant information offers a challenge. In the next video, let us see how ACE handles this task.